Hey guys, today I'm going to interview my boy Jonathan Savala. Right now he's a freshman, he's currently at Cal State LA. And what events do you do for track? Uh, 5K, 3K, and probably 10K. Today you had a workout, but what was your workout today, man? 10 by 200, 400 meter dog. What paces were you supposed to hit today? Uh, 33s to 30s. Do you have any plans, any goals for this upcoming season? Not really. Weezy out here. Weezy out here. Take you fooling, we not new to it, we counting fluid. I was game on the wood, my cup full of mud, I came out the hood. Sometimes the gangster need a hug. I'ma get all my problems above. Hate when people be doing too much. Keep it real, this we show you no love. We don't need no one about you for us. I've been gliding and found me a buzz. I've been searching for love and found lust. It's so hard to start holding a grudge. My little dog spit your shit like a Dutch. My whole squawk at the kid in the cut. Keep your shot, cause these niggas play tough. Pick and choose who the right one to trust. Pick and choose who the right one to trust. Keep it real, it's a lot of fake love. Niggas hate, but they bitches in love. Paint the billy, I white like a dove. I took off, ain't the same as it was. Get her out, told her walk to the bus. I was up, but can't tell when it cut. You can't tell me that she had a slut. Who we'll take you fooling? We not new to it. We counted fluid. I was game on the wood. My cup full of mud. I came out the hood. Sometimes the gangster need a hug. I'ma get all my problems above. Hate when people be doing too much. Keep it real, this street show you no love. I don't need no one vouching for me. I be flossing, ain't time on my teeth. Call for shot, I keep losing the keys. Shit, no box, my closet full of C's. My shit wet, Elias, ABBs. I got press on my neck, not no beats. I give cash in my bank while I'm sleep. New blue face, too tall, padded for lead. Baby, let's send a shopping spree on me. New agenda, don't do nothing free. Ain't no one of my pawns on E. I'm a busy guy, it's been some weed. I still drink for my pain to get eased. I still talk to the Lord on my knees. Helping me take her all of my knees. Now we take out the top for a breeze. Who we'll take you feeling? We not new to it. Are we gonna walk there? Have you won? Alright, let's go. Alright. Um. Alright, Bro, can you tell me when you're recording? Uh, dude, I'm trying to look at in and peace, dude. <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, yo, bitch, my coffee getting cold. The shades, bro, fucking. We're gonna be sitting outside right now, bro. Escante warrior. Dude, shut up. <laughs> oh, four miles? Wait, oh, no, five. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I didn't wanna he run. said four miles? Nope, five. Fuck. You got the Elite shorts today? Sir. What kind of shoes are you rocking? The Brooks are good shoes. What the fuck? Look, look at his shoes. <laughs> oh, uh, bro, I'm wearing the wrong socks too. <laughs> bro, these shoes are fucking amazing. The Brooks Pure Flow. Which one are those? Brooks Pure Flow Sevens. Mm -hmm. Let me get a little. They're better than Nike. They're better than Nike. Stop the cap. <laughs> The reacts got me hurt. That's a reaction. We all got me hurt. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jose, aka PJ. Before I get to the things I'm gonna talk about, I just wanna thank every single one of you guys for taking time, seeing my video, leaving a like, sharing it, leaving a comment. Also to the people that have been DM DMing me saying, I like your videos. I enjoy your videos. Keep up the good work. That means a lot. Thank you so much. So today I'm gonna talk about the goals I have for this track season. But before I get into it, people are saying, "How come you took time off during cross country?" The reason why I took time off from cross country is I got in a car accident on the freeway that took that made me take time off. The doctor recommended me to take two months off, but if I do my therapy, just hustle, I can be out in a month, which I did. But that time was just very. It was dark for me. It was more depressing because I saw my teammates. They had time travels, going on long runs. It was just, it was just hard to see. Like I should be up there with them, but I'm out here just in bed, watching TV, working. Like running. If people know me, they know running is my passion. Like I live for running. Running makes me happy. So I just took time off. The doctor said I'm good to go. And then 
I started running, but it's not, it wasn't the same because I was out of shape. So I'll go for a run one day, take two days off, and then go for another run. And then I started, now I told myself, now I gotta bounce back. So I started running every day, staying consistent. Then I get COVID. So now I had to take two weeks off, but then I decided just to make safe, I take four extra days off. Just so I could let my body recover. So I started feeling good. And then I started going for runs. I'm starting to feel comfortable now. Right now, this week, I'm hitting 35 miles, which I haven't done in a while, so I'm just happy. We got it done. Tomorrow, we'll be doing it nine miles. Let's see how it goes. But the, the goal I have for this track season, I wasn't fast in high school. I PR each race, like for the three mile. I ran a 21, then I went from a 20 to 19 to 18 minutes, then I went... 17, 50, I believe, I see I finals, prelims, I mean. And then for me, that's what running is all about, improvement. It doesn't matter how slow you are. It doesn't matter. Don't quit. It doesn't matter how you start. It matters how you finish. That's the always advice I got. For this track season, my, I really want to PR in the, fit, in the 5K. I want to run a sub-16. Even though I'm nowhere near that, I know I can achieve it. I have good training. For me, I feel like I have good training. It's just my mental. When I go for, when I'm in a race, I feel like I'm confident. My fit is, I'm, my fitness is there, but just I'm telling myself in my head, oh, I'm tired. Just stop. Yo, you need to lose. Yo, that's for me. That was my like always like frustration. It was just my mental stuff. Like people telling me in my head, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. We just start and get it to me. But now I've been working on that. Just like give like no s. Just go out there, have fun, and just prove people wrong. I love running. Running has been my passion since I joined in senior year. I love it. For the mile, I run a run a 430. That's my biggest goal I have to run a 430 mile under 430. Like you can tell people, oh, I run under 430. People are gonna think you're fast, like like you're like like a beast. I just wanna get that time, be part of the 430 club, and that's my biggest goal I have. Also, I want to start running comfortable to 50 to 60 miles a week with 12 mile long run. I'll probably be hitting that in part like in three to four weeks. Right now, my training is looking great, better than ever. I got to thank all the people I run with for pushing me and just telling me just to be patient. Your time will come. And yeah, thank you guys for taking time to see this video. I love you. I appreciate y'all. I would be doing a giveaway. My giveaway will be a $50 gift card to Nike. Or if I can get 100 subs before this month ends, I will increase the price to a $100 gift card. And then I'll be announcing it. All you got to do is share it, like, and leave a comment when it's done. Share it. You can either share it through Snapchat, Instagram, or however you want it. Just show me proof and you're going to be automatically in, in the video. Thank you. I love you. It means a lot. Damn. Hydrate. Eat. Sleep. Like, you look like shit like I did today. I think I'm embarrassing that fucking run. Fuck!